Uh, come back one step for me. When you made your success in the, the parent business, mm -hmm. <laughs> teaching parents to talk, close my mind, you looked at that and you said, okay, maybe that business at $3,500 is a nice business, but if I want to do better, I understood that one of the things you did is you started saying, how do I get, you know, how many different kinds of pets are there? You right. began to expand. Tell me a little bit about what went next, because I know you built that into business you sold. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Um, so I, I started doing it with dogs, you know, and dating back to when I had the getting dog dogs fencing business. Yeah, amazing. getting dogs amazing. to talk. Right. And, uh, you know, it's only weird when you start talking back, you know. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I was, you know, having been in the pet industry and uh, <laughs> by being in the pet industry, I mean just unsuccessfully trying to sell pet containment systems. Yes. I'd worked with hundreds of dogs, literally, and I learned that dogs respond really well to uh, positive reinforcement. Sure. So the way I was trying to train the dogs was, you say, listen, man, you don't go near this wire because you're going to get shocked. And then they get shocked and they freak out. And what I learned is that if you just like, instead of taking that approach, if you say, hey, isn't it awesome in here away from that wire? Let's just hang out in here. They respond really well to that and they're not afraid. You know, yeah. and I know that's kind of a weird way to, to no, put it, but that was the experience. So I read some stuff on dog training and I created a course about dog training and it's all about the positive reinforcement aspects of dogs right. and why dogs do certain things, you yes. know. Um, really basic stuff, but stuff that people just don't think about, you know, yeah. unless they like, been in the pet containment business. Did you ever read the book, uh, Don't Shoot the Dog? No. Oh, you'd love that book. It's all about positive reinforcement. Please continue. Okay, so um, I said, you know, there's really, and I, again, I knew this from the, the perspective of having worked with so many dogs, I said, there's not really any physiological difference and not a significant psychological difference between a, a Great Dane and a Poodle when it comes to basic obedience training. Right. When it comes to, you know, the dog is jumping on you because he wants your attention, that's so when you say down boy and you push him, you're just giving him attention and he's going right. to jump on you more. Right. Both dogs are going to react the same. So I said, you know, this course is really a one-size-fits-all course. So I developed a system to where I could automatically create a different website for every breed of dog, of which there's 600-something breeds of dogs, wow. and then get it all over the entire internet like that at one time. You know, so I just pressed a button, it was made, I placed the ads for every single breed of dog, and the next thing I know is, you know, it was a million dollar a year business. Wow. And that went from, I think I started that business in 2004, and it did its first million in 2005. Wow. I think it's, I'm, not anyone really cares, 2005 or 2006, I get the years confused. Right. Uh, just don't do that when you get married. It's a little, a little <laughs> okay. Little <bit>. <laughs> yeah. um, but tell me seriously, it, it, you sold that business though. I did. Yeah. And yeah. so you kept it for a couple of years and then sold, and were you able to sell it for a multiple of, without telling me the numbers, were you able to sell it for a multiple? Yeah, or it, was a, it was a, a very a favorable, a very favorable exchange for both parties. That's, so, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, the beauty is, the reason I bring it up is I think a lot of people when they think about doing business on the internet, they don't think of a sustainable business they think it's something very often they're just starting over, but you know you're really looking at how to create income for life in many cases. It's a Absolutely. different mindset. So maybe maybe address that for us if you would. Well, 